Wow. You have to eat this once in your life. From simple cave shelters to bustling underground metropolises, testament to ancient survival. Cappadocia's otherworldly landscape was a cradle for human ingenuity. Its natural caves are a testament to ancient survival. Their culture was sculpted from the very rock that provided them shelter. It was the birth of transforming soft rock into underground cities. complete with ventilation systems, storage systems for food and water, and to raise generations of families. From simple cave shelters to bustling underground metropolises, they mastered their environment. In 2012, the city was unearthed. It was an underground world treasure. It was 65 football fields in length, and it was 371 feet deep. It was formed from soft volcanic rock into a subterranean castle. Its homes became a complex fortress. Breathing underground was not easy, but it was made possible with hidden ventilation shafts. Camouflaged air shafts kept inhabitants comfortable keeping the temperature consistent, and it was delivered with airflow designs. Fresh air circulated throughout the city because of ancient engineering knowledge. Strategic food storage provided a diverse diet in any situation. Pantries carved into solid rock ensured survival during periods of isolation. The community was well fed through shared cooking. Communal kitchens with clay ovens were culinary hubs of nutrition. Water was a vital concern. Deep wells were dug to reach underground water sources they strategically were placed at key points within the city. Sanitation was managed with waste pits, which were regularly cleaned out. Some cities even had drainage systems to carry away wastewater. Workshops were hubs of economic activity. Underground cities thrived with workshops for pottery, weaving, and metalworking. Local goods met community needs for self-sufficiency. But also trade with neighboring regions was possible due to strategic trade routes. 
These underground cities weren't just living spaces. They were a fortress against invasion. Narrow passages, small entrance, became ancient security systems. Hidden doors with exits allowed people to become ghosts, appearing and disappearing at will. Traps and barriers turned every passageway into a potential battleground. These underground cities were engineered for war, allowing people to survive any threat. This is Nev Shahir Tava. It's a local dish native to Cappadocia, Turkey. We are in for a real treat here. This dish is made and cooked on a special dish that adds the flavors of all the ingredients and mixes it into a delicious, delicious serving of food that is so nutritious for you and great. It has tomatoes, it has green peppers, it has garlic, it has onions, all the great spices that you can think of. And it's a savory dish that uses either lamb or beef that you season and then briefly marinate before you put it on top of the olive oil and vegetable mixture and cook it to all the flavors mixed together. This is a treat that very few people, certainly Americans, get to enjoy firsthand. And I'm very, very excited. Now it's time to enjoy this delicious dish. Mmm, mmm, the meat is absolutely melts in your mouth. It is so tasty. I can taste the tomato, the garlic, the peppers, the onions. This is a dish to die for. I will tell you, you have to eat this once in your life. Look, let me show you something here. This is how they use garlic in Turkey. They clove it and put it in. It cooks into every dish. Mm. You know, garlic is antibiotic for you. It is so healthy for you. People eat it here all the time. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are a new world food, but they are greatly appreciated in Turkey. I can tell you that. Mm. The roasted pepper. You don't find a dish hardly anywhere in Turkey that doesn't use some form of roasted pepper. It is absolutely delicious and it is so tasty when they roast it like this and maybe put it in a sauce. It is amazing, amazing flavor. Mm. But the meat is the winner. The meat is briefly marinated, but also seasoned. And it's put on top of the vegetable mix and everything grows in this little cooking dish that it's served in. Mm. So good. Now, I'm gonna use a little of the side dish they give you, which is marinated cabbage. It cleans your palate and lets you taste the food all over again, brand new. You know what I love about the Turks and how they cook? Every meal is an event. It's a celebration. It's something you put on the table for your family and your friends. It means so much. It comes straight from the heart. It comes straight from their hands to your mouth and your enjoyment. They are amazing people who are amazing with food. The Turks, I think, are the best chefs in the world. Wow. Special dish. It's made with meat, green peppers, tomatoes, onions, garlic, and a lot of spices. But the unique thing about this is the cooking method. It's cooked in a pot and sealed with dough so that no steam escapes from the pot. It is then cooked for several hours that you get the waft of flavor that you get after they break that pot. Delivered right from its cooking utensil is an amazing thing. Please like and subscribe. Join us as we show you the world. These are my last looks.